Uh, well, certainly should be knowledgeable about it, I guess. Too busy avoiding the witch hunters. <laughs> I suppose. I think this will take us outside. Okay, yeah, that's all it really did, was it took us around where that other entrance was, so, alright, fair enough. So, uh, Garbits, if you're still with us, are you having a good day today? I don't remember if I've seen you in stream before, so if I have, then just pardon my memory. It's been a really long and busy week. Okay, let's see. I think the scene happens if we go around here. Okay, yeah, because we gotta go into the throne room to find out what is happening with King Chalmers while we're at it. <laughs> yeah. Charmels is a bit of a... He's, he's a little on the... little on the wussy side, shall we say. As you guys will find out in great detail in a minute. Uh... <laughs> well, yes and no. Yes, that's a picture of Charmels. It's not a recent picture of Charmels, though. Okay, hello, my lady. What's up? I... okay. Well, alright then. Uh, yeah, they seem to love their lizards, and he obviously doesn't. Alright, see if there's any good books worth reading here. He's no Anthony. <laughs> it isn't easy being a beautiful genius. <laughs> that uh, that sounds a bit like Luke, uh, Luca or Lucia describing herself in Chrono Trigger. Oh, hi. I'll take that. No, I've not gotten that far in the plot yet, Garbits. We are, we're just now getting to Argonia, so we don't have the magic mirror yet. We've got to have the magic mirror to be able to, uh, to do that. And we get another munchie session, yay! I'd forgotten about this, actually. Oh, okay, so we can't really do much with this yet. I think we have to cue the scene with Charmels and company before this becomes useful. But hey, at least we've got another, like I said, another Munchie episode. <laughs> Scurry, my little mammal friend, yes. Go, Munchie, go! Go, Munchie, go! Say, well, yeah. Who saved the world? Me, Squeak! Okay, that goes outside, so let me go up here first, just to make sure. I think this does, too. It probably just goes to the top of the tower. Let's see... Yeah, that's all it does. Great. Okay, well... 
All that running for no reason, darn it. La la la. At least you can... Seems like you get down the stairs a lot faster than you go up them, but... I don't know, maybe that's just me. Okay, let's see. Go over here first before I go back down the stairs. Just to loot. Look around. Enjoy the surroundings of old Castle Argonia here. Ooh, Elf and Elixir's really good. Definitely want to hang on to that. Alright, let's see. Well, okay. Lots of places we can go. And it's locked! Yay! Okay, well, let me go ahead and take this door first. See, obviously it's an outside door because it's more... It's got more frippery to it. But I want to make sure that there's nothing... Okay, no, there's nothing there. It's just a door there for no reason. Ah, great. Okay, let's see. Go ahead and check what's down here, especially in the door. But do you have anything interesting to say, I wonder? No. Oh, great. Yep. That's Prince Charmels. Yay. Hi. Yeah, he's, uh, he's gained a little weight. No, I'm not going to leave immediately. I'm going to steal your stuff. And hey, you don't have much money on you, jeez. <laughs> Pinch him. Pinch him in the face! Wow. Think you're a big boy? Yeah. Make sure to ask for Puffy. Ha ha ha! Wow. Oh boy. Yep, that's Club Puff Puff. And, well, as we discovered where it is, but we can't get to it yet, unfortunately, I think we have to go through the events in Argonia before we can actually go to Club Puff Puff. And I need to. Well, so many places. This is a much... I, mean, I mentioned it was a big castle whenever we went into it, but it's certainly bigger than you would expect it to be just on first blush. Okay, well... Oh, yeah. Guess I'll just smash barrels. Or smash pots. And no cook around to harass me for it. That's nice. Ah, uh, let's see. Oh, okay, this... Okay, ah, alright. Okay, yeah, I see where I am now. They call it Puff Puff for a reason. Yep, they do! I mean, it's, it's, yeah. I, I think that's a pretty safe assumption. Okay, I think it's time to go into the throne room and see what's going on with our dear little king here. Hello, my liege. Your Majesty, are you feeling poorly? Did those travelers cause you some trouble? No, no, I'm fine. One of them reminded me of someone, but I must be mistaken. Yeah, that actually is something we'll come back to later. And hey, Dragon Phoenix! Good of you to join us! 
The magic mirror? But it's a precious royal heirloom. Why on earth do you require it? Explain yourself. I understand. However, as I have said, the magic mirror is a treasure of the royal family. I cannot simply give it to you. I knew it, I know. C'est la vie, I suppose. It was a lot to ask. So now what? How are we going to avenge my brother's death without that mirror? Hmm. If what you say is true, you must have survived a great many ordeals on your travels. That means your fighting skills must be on a par with those of my soldiers. But your majesty, you can't possibly plan to use those travelers instead of royal guardsmen. Well surmised, Chancellor. No, I don't have the mirror yet. I, at the end of the last stream, I had just gotten to where I needed to go into Argonia to get it, so here I am. Listen to me carefully. I rule with a fair hand, but I cannot grant every request that is made of me. However, if the royal family owes someone a debt of gratitude, I consider it my duty to fulfill it. You need the magic mirror. Then accept my request. If you complete the task I set forth for you, you may have the mirror. Summon the prince! At once, your majesty. The request concerns my son, Prince Charles. To become king of Argonia, one must undertake a special initiation ceremony. There is some risk to life and limb, and the prince is unwilling to do it. As a father, the thought of putting my own son in danger pains me. But he must pass the initiation if he is to succeed me to the throne. It is the tradition of our kingdom. I was considering sending a detail of royal soldiers to protect him during the rite. However, I fear it will ruin his reputation. So my request is this. You outsiders will accompany my son to the royal hunting ground. Naturally, this would remain completely confidential. It is vital that everyone believes my son passed the initiation on his own. Y your Majesty, Prince Charmels is... What is it this time? The Prince has run off again. I'm extremely sorry, Your Majesty. This is all my fault. He was just in his room. How could he have run off so quickly? I'll bring Prince Charmels to Your Majesty as soon as we can find him. As your humble and faithful servant, I beg... You incompetent fool! Please pardon my outburst. But we cannot continue this discussion without my son. Oh, joy. So, we get to go find him again. And this is where the munchy exit comes in handy, because I think we have to go up there in order to... in order to discover where the prince is. So, time to head back around that way. But considering I've already explored all the castle, there won't really be that much running around to do. Let's see... this is... it, I believe. So we go through here... Maid's over there... And now suddenly... <laughs> yeah, we can't get into the room where we could go. That, of course is why we need to go upstairs and go through the munchie hole. With munchie, of course.
Yep. Go forth and save the day, Super Mouse. I do like how they give this plot relevance again after you had to do it in Jessica's Manor at the beginning of the game. Um, hi. Yeah. You remember them mentioning that Charmels doesn't like lizards? Yeah, we gotta guide the lizard into the hole. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. Charmels is definitely not a character that I think much of anybody would sympathize with. Good job, Munchie. Mission accomplished. Alright, now to get back down to the throne room where, well, hopefully we can continue our discussion because Charmels has revealed himself very disappointed in that reaction. <laughs> eh. Eh. It is what it is. Hello, my very loath friend. Munchies received a commendation. <laughs> ah, perfect timing. Allow me to introduce my son. This is Prince Charmels, the future king of Argonia. What is all this, father? Why are you wasting my time with this whiff-waff? And yes, he has the lisp as well, just to make it even more fun. They're going to protect you during the initiation. They will need to know who you are. Initiation? Who said anything about the initiation? I don't recall agreeing to that. I hate lizards. How many times do I have to tell you? Listen carefully, Charmels. Enough is enough. I am aware of your aversion to the initiation, but it remains your duty to complete it. You won't be able to marry Princess Medea until you prove your worth. Well, I don't care about getting married anyway. You're making a mistake, Charmels. I hear Princess Medea is... well... Va! Va! Boom! Yep. The game went there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying. Wow! Now, have you reconsidered? <sighs> you can leave me out of this, thank you. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, my son, do you realize what people say about you behind your back? This is your chance to prove yourself. To show the world you are a man. These people can assure your safety. Well, Charles, do you accept? Uh, yes? Wait, no. I mean, oh, I don't know. I heard a yes. That's my prince. I'll ensure that everyone believes you're doing it on your own. You will leave now. Hide yourself in the wagon at the city gates and await your bodyguards. Right now? Chancellor, accompany Charmels to the gate. The prince is leaving for his initiation. Summon the royal guards. The prince must have a fittingly ostentatious send-off. Remember, he is leaving on his own. Uh. 
It shall be as you wish, your majesty. But wait! I'm not ready yet! Off at last. I wish you luck. And remember, your mission is top secret. Charmels will explain the details of the initiation himself. Fulfill my request, and you have my word that the magic mirror shall be yours. Yay, we're participating in basically a royal royal deceit for the sake of getting a magic mirror so we can go after Dual Magus. Oh, to what lengths we shall stoop. It's a shame, really. And yes, I will have plenty of fun dealing with those armors. Thank you. It is actually probably about some time or time that I get some grinding done. Well, not now. I'm going to wait till after the stream, but I do need to go about getting some grinding done just to get some levels up a little bit. And also to get some money to buy the stuff here in Argonia. That stinky wagon is far too small for me. Maybe I could stretch my legs if you got rid of that worthless pot. Good grief! What's that? What kind of people are you traveling with a freak like that? Here, Grandad, you'd have bit of my head off if I said something like that. I'm a king, you half with a twerp. Come a little closer. Look at us. Don't you see? We can't tell him his fiance has turned into a horse. Much better to keep the truth a secret for now. Make sure everyone knows to keep it under their hats. A Prince Charmless! What is our destination? It's Charm Lane, you clot. Just head east. Eventually we'll come to the Royal Hunting Ground. That's where the initiations take place. Oh, and before I forget... Yay! We get a plot device. This file contains a powder that masks human scent. You must sprinkle it on yourselves before we enter the Royal Hunting Ground. Argon lizards are very sensitive to smell. If they get wind of our unmasked scent, they'll run away. In other words, we've got to smell like lizards to fight lizards. I'm supposed to be doing this by myself, so I shall be staying in the wagon until we arrive. I'll alight upon arrival, and we shall then proceed on foot. Now get a move on, you lazy rascals! Yeah, you're a, you're a real charming fellow there, aren't you? Okay, can I... Let's see, I think I can't shoot. Well, so much for that. Alright, in that case then, let us summon our kitty cat and one off. And yes, it... It seems as though every time we find a way to go after Dual Magus, we have to do two or three things first to get to it. Oh lord, uh, well, definitely killing the Cure Slime first, that's for sure. And I'm putting my boomerang back on to do it, because there's lots of enemies, so... Rest of it, go forth. Oh. Well, yes, sort of. <laughs> I mean, Argonian lizards, anyway. I wouldn't argue that they're quite like the Argonians that we all know and love, but they're close enough. hi ho kitty. <laughs> yeah, that's true, too. Oh, really? Thanks, guys.
Okay, let's see. At this point, we need to get a couple of heals in. So, Angelo... Definitely need to full heal Yangus. Especially since we've got Oomph going here. No, quit buffing yourselves! You've buffed yourself enough, I think. Especially when you do that. It is... It's not my first time playing Elm. And also, thanks for coming in. Good to see you. It's not my first time playing, but it's been a long time since I have played. So, I am... <clears throat> excuse me. I'm a little... I wouldn't say... I, I wouldn't say I'm... I guess not... I don't know what I'm doing, but I am a little less aware of things than I would have been, perhaps, in regards to... If I... You know, if I'd played it a year or two ago, I would be a little bit better aware of what to do. But it's been several years since I actually did play the game, so... I'm a little rusty. Okay... I wish we could have warped back over to the hunting grounds, otherwise I wouldn't have worried about going this way to begin with, but, oh well. Wow, that works! Good job! Wow, not often that Angelo, that he crits like that, so I'll take it. And yeah, that's definitely, that's why I'm going to be doing some grinding after the stream's over with. Kind of in between. Well, I'll have plenty of time in between, but that's why I'm going to do some grinding. Probably some liquid metal slime grinding over in Trodane to get some levels up and also get some money into the coffers so that we can better handle stuff like this. I just don't want to do it on stream if I don't have to because, well, I'm a little averse to that sort of thing. And I need to get to the shelter before night falls so that we don't have to fight the really hard enemies. The elm? Uh, I question that I will... Oh god, no. Not 9999. No thank you. The elm? I uh, question I will ask all of the folks that I, that I know are new to my streams. Where are you joining us from? I would just like to get an idea of how geographically distributed my friends are. Uh, yes, I do remember how it ends. I, I definitely remember the story. Of course, then the question is, which ending are you talking about, hmm? Alright, so, now that we have come back through here, we're at least at the hut toward the beginning of the grounds, and I'll go ahead and heal, although I don't overly need to. Wait, why did I get a crying Isaac? Wait, that... Hang on. Sorry, I just moused over it in... Uh, moused over it in the Twitch chat and it came up Bible Thump? It's an interesting icon or interesting uh, iconography for that. Okay. Let's see. I think I need to go out back behind the house. Yeah, there we go. Oh, shut up. Yes, yes. We actually have to use the lizard humor before we come in. I had forgotten about that. Okay, so... Over... Yep, there we go. Yeah, that's what, that's what I thought too when I looked at it. I was surprised to find the tag that it had. Okay, now for this one, let's see. Okay, we've got to try to walk around this thing and approach it from behind if we can. Because once they see us, they're going to run off. But if we actually walk around and catch up to it, we will be able to, well, battle something other than it. Hey, Haxorus, uh, I've got you in the uh, 
got you in the monster arena. You do a pretty good job for now. Later I will replace you, but still, you do a pretty good job. Especially when you spew fire breath around everywhere. Arg! Uh, arg! And yes, Charmels actually does pose like he's going to battle. Heh. Heh 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 Right, sure, yeah. Pull the other one, why don't you? Alright, Flame Slash. And Charmels does no damage whatsoever. <laughs> I don't remember if there's any point at which he actually does do damage. It's gonna be just like Pokey from Earthbound. Yeah, pretty much. Except not as potent. And yes, uh, Elm, I am gonna be going for a hundred percent. Meaning, yes, I'm gonna be going through the post game and everything. Okay, let me actually switch to the sword so that I can do my uh, dragon, the uh, dragon slash. Then the rest of it should pretty much be the same, I think. And yes, Charmels runs away. Oh boy. Okay, good. That should help out a lot. Yep. He runs away from battle while we're just sitting here going after the lizard. Oh, and thank you for the follow, Elm. I appreciate it. There we go. Does that count as guts? I I don't know. Oh, good. We leveled up though. Nice. All right. So yeah, wisdom goes up a ton and insulatal. Good. Okay. So yeah, staves and sex appeal. Chief of staff. <laughs> nice. so small. Looks like the Argon lizards aren't anything to worry about after all. We'll have to keep hunting lizards until we find one big enough to do justice to my heroism. Yeah, says he who just ran away. Jerk. This from a guy who runs at the slightest hint of danger. Don't make me laugh. Okay, so now that we've gotten one of them, we've got two more to get. Let's see. Let me see, actually, if I can call, uh, if I can call Bomrin. Oh, yeah, I can. Nice. Or not. Oh, that's right. I forgot about this. Yeah, we can't call Charmels in here. Crap. Oh, well. Just means we'll have to run around on our own. Okay, there's treasure over here that I want to go ahead and grab. Punch him in the face. Yeah. Kooligan, that seems to be your answer to everything. Punch him in the face! A ho Hocus Chimera and a Hacksaurus. Well, definitely focusing on the Hacksaurus first, that's for sure. Although the Chimera can be dangerous as well, I want to take out the big guy. And he casts mid heal on nothing. Yeah, I know. You can't call the can't call old Bomberin, I'm afraid. What if he resists fist attacks? Uh well, guess we'll just have to find another solution then, won't we? And this might actually be a good time Okay, if the hack source doesn't die, to cast Insulatal. Let's see. Let me check and see what that does precisely. I don't remember. 
Okay, he protects all party. Let's see, all party members from. Okay, fire or ice based. All right. Excuse me. Then magic barrier, I think, reduces magic damage. Ah, okay. All right, well, yep, Twin Dragon Lash and then Flame Slash, I guess just to make sure we take this guy out. Although I probably shouldn't have Hero still wielding his sword. I'd probably have him back on the boomerang after this battle, but I don't know. It's all situational, I guess. Okay, let's see, is the item in here? I believe it is. There we go, mini metal, yay! All right, so now we need to go back and then head up to the northwest, I believe, is where we need to go next. Man, really is too bad you can't use Bomberin in here. Ah, I miss him so badly already! And we just got started with this place, too! Fortunately, I don't think this area is too terribly big. We can't use the world map to look at it either, so... Let's sigh. Alright, Hocus Chimera and a Killer Moth. Uh, let's go after the Killer Moth, I guess. Although, I keep forgetting to put Hero back on his boomerang so he can hit both of them. Ah, eh, phooey. There we go. That's good. And Yangus. Darn it, I was hoping he could take out the, the Chimera, but I guess not. Not another mob. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, that's alright. It went down easily enough. Okay, let's see. Alright, Angelo, it's time for you to start healing, folks, please. Level 35? Oh my gosh, wow. Well, I don't remember what level I did when I fought him the first time. But it'll be interesting to see what level I'm at when I go after this time. Okay, there's our next one. Let's see. Okay, there's a plant that we need to look for. There it is, right over there. I say, Courant, show me what it is you've got there. <laughs> okay, bad accents are bad, but still. Well, well. Well, all right then. Let's find ourselves a sleeping lizard that we can throw it at. Like this one. And I love how we get to... Well, we have to duck waddle all the way over here, actually. I love how we have to just pretty much duck waddle all the way over to be able to use this. No, that's no problem, Elm. You're good. I actually had a... I actually had somebody from Brazil in the stream a couple of weeks ago. So, I know obviously Brazilians speak Portuguese, but yeah. But I, I don't have any problems as far as people from other countries having issues with English in the stream. I mean, I have problems with English sometimes and I've lived in America all my life, so... Eh. <laughs> I mean, it is what it is, I guess. Wake up, lizard! Here, lizard, lizard, lizard! Ah, 
I just did! Ah, I've got to go back and get another one. Why? Well, I guess I was supposed to go see the lizard first and then grab one of these freaking things, but oh well. Waddle, waddle, waddle. Waddle, waddle, waddle. This is what I felt like moving some of my furniture <laughs> yesterday. Oh, Lord. Especially, I've got a... I've got a red chair that I really like a lot. I got it from my grandmother, actually. Arg! And I... It's a pretty big chair. So, I, whenever I was carrying it to the moving truck yesterday, that's pretty much what I felt like. You know what? Let's go ahead and call the team. <laughs> I hadn't called them in a bit, so we might as well. And I'll just go ahead and queue up the other abilities just in case my other folks go first, but I kind of doubt it. Hehehehehehe. <laughs> Ah, this should be easy then, because these guys are loaded for bear. Unleash the bunnies. <laughs> yeah, the bunnies that aren't bunnies at all. Oh, gold man, why? Oh, really, Haxilla? Boo. Unfortunately, though, the party cannot... <laughs> can't fight the whole battle, so... I could call him back again, but... Nah, I'd rather not. Okay, now, though, I need to get serious about healing people. Like, myself. And I guess I really should be trying to use Jessica's magic rather than her... Never mind. Yay! And we get another Argon Heart. No, this is no good either. We need to find a bigger one. The only way I'll get the respect I deserve is by returning with the biggest Argon Heart the world has ever seen. So, we're going to keep going until we find one big enough to take back. Do I make myself clear? Well, excuse me, princess. I mean, prince. Oh, not even a good uh, prince or princess either. He's just a butt. Uh, okay, let's see. All right, yeah, we need to go over here for the third one. Over to the northeast end of the Royal Hunting Ground. Yeah, Jessica start using wands. I will eventually shift over that way myself. I guess I probably should start doing that. Hit him in the neck, knocking him out, and dragging his butt, drag his butt back to the castle. Yeah, no kidding. All right, well, definitely time to get out our big abilities for this one. Oh, boy. Uh, let's see. Okay, yeah, let's go after the moths for that group. Because it's the biggest of the groups. Ah, why'd you have to dodge? Silly, silly moth. Oh, well. Thou art dead anyway. Okay, so the rest of these guys I should be able to take normally, I believe. Until you do that. Bleh. Well, thanks for the rennet powder. I can make some good profitable recipes off of that. Okay, let's see. Mid-heal for you, mid-heal for you, mid-heal for you, I guess. Yeah, that takes you close enough. And regular heal for you.
Okay, I think, let's see, do I need to, I believe I need to go up here to cue what comes next. Because I think I have to cross this bridge so we can see the Argon Lizard that is hiding in that cave that we just saw. Hello, Haxorus, and Drat you. And Falcon Slash, too, even more fun. Alright, well. It's time to start Dragon Slashing you, then. Then, I don't know if Angel Eyes will actually work, but it's worth a shot, though. Nope. Well, it did damage, at least. Well, excuse me. I guess we'll just have to use one of these that just happen to be around here. Very nice of them. Waddle, waddle, waddle. Okay, now... I don't... Oh, yeah, that draws it out. Okay. And fortunately, we can just jump right on down and go after it, which is good. This, us getting into another battle before it, though, not so good. Okay, so let's focus on making sure you die first. Although the orcs can use multi-flat, or multi-thrust. I don't like the fact that there are two Haxorses here that can both use flame breath and pretty much just I uh, send us alive if they wish to. I want to try to take care of that as soon as possible. Like that! Yay! And I need to do a full heal on Hero in a minute. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's one way to go about it, definitely. I'm not sure exactly, though, how his dad would react to that. That's the only problem that I would have with that sort of approach. Okay, or one Dragon Lash can take him out. But good, Zing doesn't work, thank god. I was gonna get a little ticked off if it had actually brought him back to life. He was knocked out during battle. <laughs> I'm sure there would be a little bit of scorn in that, too. My son in a battle? Oh, whatever do you mean? Alright, well, I am pretty well equipped for this already, so we'll just go ahead and apply our usual strategies. And the defense great. The defensive downgrade did not work. Nice. So, Jessica, could you perhaps sap him a little bit? And there goes Charmels. <laughs> As though anybody expected him to actually stick around that long. Yeah, there we go. That works. I don't know why, but every time I hear the Dragon Slash, whenever it hits... Every time I hear that, I think the enemy has just died. But as it turns out, no, not so much. Alright, uh, I guess mid-heal Yangus. He doesn't quite need a full heal just yet. Yeah, yeah, well, not that it did him much good, but still. There we 
go. No, no, no! This won't do. It isn't big enough to impress Father or anyone else, for that matter. If only there were some more Argon lizards, then we could fight them all and see if we got a bigger one. But those bothersome lizards keep running away and hiding when they see me coming. I'm just too intimidating for my own good. Oh. Someone's pleased with himself. How much longer have we got to babysit this sissy? Anyway, I'm hungry now. Servants, the day's hunt is over. Find level ground and prepare a campsite for my night's repose. Well... Servants indeed, huh? You fat oaf! Shut up! I'll show you how to break in a horse! Stupid animal! Maybe a little pain will teach you! Calm down! Stop bucking! Stop! I'm going to fall! And pitched him right on his fat face, which is exactly where he belongs. I'll whip some manners into you! Stubborn beast! You should be honored to have a taste of my crop! I'll teach you some proper respect for your wider! That's my horse! Stop this at once! I simply cannot allow you to harass her any further! If you must strike something, strike me instead! So, the horse is that important to you? Fine! Your wish is granted. Prepare to accept her punishment. Oi, Gav! <sighs> we got one! We got one! Uh, uh, I was picking me now. Uh, I mean... I was picking me some flowers <laughs> when I saw it. A blooming giant. One, one of them lizards. Did you hear that? It's the cry of an Argon lizard. Forget the stupid horse. We've got to catch that lizard. And unfortunately, we have to go find the lizard ourselves and forget that we are antidote or that were poison good job me so yeah we got to go find the lizard 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 and well not too hard to find fortunately and by the way cooligan yes you called it we get boss time against the great argon lizard oh boy all right so as usual it's psyching up time for Hero, it's helm splitting time for Yangus, it's acceleratoling time for Jessica, and it is kabuffing time for Angelo, and it's futility time for Charmels, of course. Are you sure you can't murder that little bugger? No, unfortunately, it, I don't believe we can. And I am fine with you just attacking one character. I don't care about that all that much, at least not yet. 
All right, let's do another Acceleratol and another Kabuff. And Charmels runs off, of course. No surprise there! It is interesting, though. You notice, even after Charmels has run away, the screen is still panned out to show five party members. Yeah, exactly. That the buffs don't apply to him? Definitely not, no. Ah, keep... Wrong button, Eric. There we go. Okay, let's see. I think two Accelerators should be enough, so... I'll go ahead and put Insulatal on, just in case. And then I'll start Oomphing. Angelo, you do one more Kabuff, and then you can start attacking yourself. I don't remember the Great Argon Lizard using any breath attacks, but just in case, it'd be nice. Okay, so I've probably decreased the Lizard's defense as much as I can. Alright, let me try to get Hero into Super Saiyan mode. And then, Yangus, you start... Actually, yeah, you start psyching up yourself. Jessica, you start oomphing. And Angelo, you start healing. That's going to be your main job in this anyway. Darn it, no Super Saiyan. Oh well. He seems to be focusing pretty heavily on going after Hero. I mean, granted, probably for good reason, but still. Okay... I could probably afford a Flame Slash. I haven't really done much damage to the Lizard yet. Mostly because I'm waiting to get... to hopefully get Hero into Super Saiyan mode. Then, yeah, it's on. Okay, I'll give it one more attempt on Super Saiyan mode, then if not, I'm going to go ahead and start attacking with Hero. Just because, you know, I want to go ahead and get him on that front. Or get him attacking and get some damage on this thing. No, okay, crap. No Super Saiyan. Oh well. Okay, well, that's a new attack. Alright, so Dragon Slash for you, I guess. And we'll try one a couple of times for you. Then... Well, I guess, actually, Aunt, uh, Jessica could oomph herself now. And then... Flame Slash. Although, I need to heal Yang is probably next turn. Ah! Yangus goes into Super Saiyan mode! Haha! <laughs> nice. Although, unfortunately, it doesn't really do a whole lot to him, looks-wise. It just turns him pink. And yeah, I just did a thousand damage to the Argon Lizard, and he ain't dead yet, so... There you go. Okay, I guess just keep on Dragon Slashing, then you need to... Helm Split, I guess. Jessica, you start Twin Dragon Lashing, and Angelo, you need to heal people. Uh, let's do... Eh, let's do a mid-heal, I guess. Never mind! Okay. Alright, I'll take it. I was obviously prepared for a much larger, or much longer fight, but... This is it! This is exactly what I needed! This will show Father and his servants! I can just see their faces now. Oh, Chamblay, how wonderful. What a hero you are. It could be better after all I went through to get it. Servants, back to the castle. Okay, if you insist. There is another item. Let's see. Yeah, there is another item I can pick up here. It's closer... It's really close to the beginning of this place, though, so... I'll just go ahead and get it later. 
because now you can go back there easily enough. Alright, so... Back to Argonia! And yes, Thief, I am. I am playing this on PCSX2. With a... Fortunately for me, very good graphics card. Home at last! It feels like a lifetime since we left on our epic journey. Actually, it's only been about 30 minutes, but okay. What's this? The flags are up. Oh, the bazaar is on. It must have started while we were away. I'm going to do a little shopping before I go back to the castle. Dismissed. Well, all right then. Yeah, here is the bazaar. Here is where we can get some really good stuff. But I don't have all that much money, so... Yeah. Okay. Now, these Scholar Specs, I actually will go ahead and pick them up. Because Jessica's already got a pair on, which is good. But we'll actually want to use another set to make... Let's see... Okay, well actually we'll want to get two sets, which I don't have enough money for, obviously. Because the first thing we'll want to make is a Scholar's Cap. I won't really have the money to do so right now. But it will certainly help out once we are able to make that. I'm going to use... That's basically going to make a new hat for Jessica. And that will prove really good for her and her magic. Alright, let's see. What can I afford to sell here? I'm going to be doing a lot of this off camera, like I said, but we can go ahead and get rid of these. That cheat book you have there? It's no cheat book, it's a walkthrough! And it's actually not really a great walkthrough, it doesn't tell you anything about the bosses or anything of that ilk. But, it does help out. Yes, I would like to sell something else, I want to sell the gold monster coin I have. From beating, I think I got that from beating Goldman, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, that actually might be enough for us to get the... to get the cap. So let's take a look and see. I think this is just accessories, though. Yeah, it's just accessories. Well, crap. Okay, well... Hello! Selling cooking spices, huh? Well, alright. That's good for you. Uh, hello, very short person. Okay, so you've got your armor. I uh, know the monster coins are just there to be sold. There's our magical hat, and I don't quite have enough money for it. Well, fiddlesticks. But yeah, the monster coins are just there to be sold. The mini medals are what do stuff. Um. Let's see. Ah, well, that's not going to get me any money. I'll just sell... I'll sell some of the stuff that I have extra of. At least weapons and armor-wise. Go back to the Tales games. Yeah, I know, right? Okay. Let's see. Well, that's pretty much all that's really worth getting rid of here. I think I'll just sell one of the thorn whips and then I should be good to go to get the scholars or to get the magical hat. Alright, now that that's the case, we can go ahead and make that the uh, scholar's cap for Jessica. This bazaar obviously is going to be going throughout the game, and it is, a, you notice already, is an excellent place to pick stuff up for pretty much everybody.
Okay, let's see. What is over here, I wonder? <laughs> She's as tight as a dangerous bustier. <laughs> I I don't know. I guess they do it primarily just to to give you something else to do while you're running around. Oh lord. Ah, uh, that's a good sword. That's a better boomerang. So yeah, definitely going to want to raise some money for some of this stuff. Okay, I think that's everything to the bazaar right now, so we'll just need to head back toward the castle, I believe, is the next step. Although, let's go over this way, too. The Yggdrasil Leaf Shop. Uh, I don't have enough money for one right now. By the way, the with the Yggdrasil Leaf, you technically can only have one. But, as it turns out, you can kind of cheat the system a little bit to have more than one. Oh, ah, here's our money maker. Yeah, we can use these for good to make cheeses, basically, so that we can profit. <laughs> okay, now I think there is... I don't remember if there's a scene we actually have to... Uh, that we actually have to queue here. I don't remember if there's a scene outside or if we have to go in the castle. Because, well, as it turns out, Charmley does a little something. I uh, suspect. Oh, here we go. This is it. Yeah, the. Yeah, he sells items. Including a prayer ring, which is pretty darn good. But I've got a couple of those already. 